all right so we are going to tackle the demi king uh extreme mode this is a new death match that will pretty much allow you to get materials to be able to get um the true awakening which is the new um awakening system for the game um, you get these random rewards and stuff like that where you can get these randomized these are going to be randomized now again you must for true awakening you need like about 100 of these and it seems like this is going to be like random amount that you get so you don't know which one you might get um unfortunately you can't choose so it might be uh you want to try to true awaken demon meliodas but they they're gonna end up giving you mostly humans and fairy and stuff like that and then you can't really do anything uh, which is kind of nice because you get to randomize it and i believe you can also get another free entry not a free entry but a paid entry using uh like coins like either like super awakening coins or um platinum coins gold coins and stuff like that to get another entry in and we're gonna try extreme now if i'm not mistaken on this one for extreme on you can see phase one is where you're gonna be using attributes and you kind of just want to match up with the attributes and stuff like that so you can unlock hawk and the other phase two will be getting like level ones and level twos and level threes and stuff like that so you want a character who can like at least rank up their card or use a rank up character and what else there is i think he also has like a passive where he does 500 percent more damage to um goddesses so don't think you can cheese with a goddess team you know so we're going to stream um i seen this team uh somebody used this team to pretty much beat it for extreme again it has burn heal meliotis matrona and deanne from what i understand you also need a buff removal as well for demi king so that's why matrona is there and red matrona also can heal and this is where you're gonna need like a really stacked account because again you can't share the same amount you can't share the same links because there's two sets of teams you're making as you can see i was literally struggling to make this other team but i was thinking like what could be very helpful for me because i'm gonna need a healer of course right and then meliotis um you also can't share the uh links as well you can see right here marker is gone because the other team i have market is linked to you can see it says a so again you really need a really really built box and you know better artifact card sets and stuff like that as well so keep that in mind again you can use food on this one so that is also really cool uh, and again we are going to try this out and see how this goes again this is gonna be my first attempt at this so hopefully it um it all works out you know from what i've seen um stream isn't that hard obviously there's gonna be there's gonna be um freaking more teams that are gonna come out there i just chose this one just because i ain't gonna lie to you man i got work in them <laughs> i got work in a couple hours so i want to do something real for, real quick if there becomes like a better team for easier to farm for extreme i'm definitely gonna do a video for you guys that isn't like too well heavy um, so he tax lower you as well again this is gonna be my first attempt Cause this is like one is like where um if you get enough chaos mode like chaos things um you will be able to unlock hawk not hawk on um, what's the name wild wild boar so right here um you can see it's dang i, I forget the attribute what it is uh <laughs> okay so it's blue green green blue green green okay yeah blue we're so gonna do this do this and this good damage from melee though and again we're just matching it so we can follow the rule you kind of just want to follow the rule events as much as possible so you can uh pretty much activate hawk for a while i don't know why i keep calling him hawk i'm trying to figure out do you have to do it like in a row though so, like this time oh okay i see now oh they was telling me like what is going to be the next up oh oh my god I messed up okay so i guess it gives you like a one section where it frees up where 
um it gives you a chance to do any pretty much any card and then you see the one with the red text right now this is where they're telling me yeah you have to do these cards oh oh my god okay i messed up a little bit on this then i could have stance up with dn and then been good because i don't have two green cards now okay okay i gotta restart this <laughs> all right now i'm getting it i'm getting it now okay All right, I technically didn't have to restart that. I could have just played with my other team because I did have two green characters, but I want to do this as, like, decent as possible. Like, I want to give you guys, like, the best experience with me trying at least my best uh, with, like, no mistakes. I wonder if it's, like, randomized or it's, like, like the set cards. Let's see. Is this time even went for Matrona this time around. Let's see okay so it is randomized so this is gonna be two reds right here it's gonna be a red and a green a so red green red i guess uh, the thing that's like uh <laughs> really terrible about this is that um it's kind of like the deer uh which no one really likes the deer <laughs> Because you gotta play around with like so many things where that comes like really gimmicky. Um, that's pretty funny. Okay. Okay. And there goes my rank up. And you can see Hawk right there or Wow. So it's red, green, and red. See how that goes. So red. Okay, you got like a defense lore too. So it seemed like if you match the rule, you would get like some lowers. And then there goes wild. This kind of assists you as well. Oh, he stuns the Demon King if you unlock all the rules. Okay, that's a free tin. That's a free turn. So we can just get rid of um you right here. And we got some buffs as well. Wow. That's actually insane. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna probably just move our cards then. I think it's gonna one shot right here. Okay. 3.3 million. Okay, I'm getting the, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, I have some gold cards. Okay, so they let me know the next rule, which is a level one and a level three. Oh, so I have to get rid of some cards real quick. Yeah, I have to get rid of some cards. Cause he's gonna rank up my hand pretty soon. He's gonna rank up my hand pretty soon. I have a level one, but I need another level one. Hopefully I get a basic card or I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to switch probably to my other team. Let's see how that goes. This is inter this is interesting though. Okay, I got another level one. Unfortunately, Meliel is gonna be buffing himself a little bit. Okay, that's like this is pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool. Thanks with my gauge, that's fine. So there it goes, level one. A level three and another level one okay okay pretty simple and then you see defense lowers melee pass is also proccing i wonder if like the demon team like estros of process will proc too and here comes wild again who was going to stun the boss um he has this undead thing though. I wonder how you get rid of the undead. I wonder how you get rid of the undead though. Cause he has that undead still. I'm definitely gonna have to use cards up though. Damn, like my like my hand is like filled with level threes. I'm trying to like use these up. 
<laughs> it's like level threes and stuff like that. All right, I, I wonder if you gotta probably maybe do it like a certain amount of times, maybe. It might be that you gotta do it like a certain amount of times for um that, that undead effect to go away. Okay, I got level one. That's actually really good. Let's try. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna just try things a little bit right here. Cause that undead thing is not going away. Maybe I need to translate to see how you get rid of that. So level three. Level one. And then level one. Cause I don't want to like stall this so long and then I like don't even get rid of him. Cause I already got this man down below like so many times. Or is it like wild guy get rid of him? Okay, now the undead thing is gone. So maybe you just need two times of that? Okay. So this should be GG then right here. Uh, yeah, this should be GG then. Okay. Pretty simple on this one. Pretty simple. I just use my I just use one team. I didn't even need the second team. Maybe it gets harder on extreme, but I got my eight. I got my eight. And there goes the hell difficulty. Uh I think I gotta oh, do I gotta Okay, so this is where you can get like an entry, another entry in. Let me see. Okay, so now you can do your other entry. I might as well try the same team. Uh, let me see. This one where you get like 17 chests. Mm -mm. And he also got like different types of passes too. So phase one. This is where you're gonna have different skill effects. Like this one is a buff card. Um, this is recovery. This is an attack card, buff. Uh, this stance. And then phase one is the level ones again. I, I, I'm gonna translate again just so I uh, remember. But I know this stuff is like uh, pretty simple. Okay. So it's attack skills, buff skills, debuff skills, stand skill, and recovery skills. So you want a team that has like all of those things, um, which I think my team technically does, right? I have a stance, I have, I have recovery skill, which is um, Gurheed, attack skills, which is my basic Meliodas, stuff like that, buff skills, and I have a debuff skill being my Lost Vein and Golther. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, we could try it out. Um, but first, let me show you guys on um, the chest and stuff like that, just so you can know it's, it's going to be random. Let me show you the chest. As you can see, they're not letting me give my options. It's just, a, it's just a percentage. And again, you need like 100 of these for the true awakening. So I got six humans, four demons, two, two, everything else. 